Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kim Sandos. If you're new or if you're not new, hey, welcome back. Thank you so much for coming back. So today on my channel, I wanted to talk about some new makeup releases that are coming out at this time. And I've done a video on this in the past called Purge or Splurge. So pretty much, I let you know my thoughts and I wanna repeat this. My thoughts, my opinions, if I would splurge or purge these products. But before we get into this video, if you're not subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button and let's get into this video and decide on if I would splurge or purge some of these new makeup releases. So I'm just gonna move over a little bit so I can put the picture of the makeup item up here. So let's start off with obviously the star of this video. The reason why I thought I would make this video and it is the new cremated eyeshadow palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So this is gonna be a full collection, but I wanted to mention the eyeshadow palette. Again, I wanna state, this is my opinion, my thoughts. In this world, everyone is entitled to their own opinion and their own thoughts and what they like and what they dislike. And sadly, I dislike this palette. In some pictures, the shades look darker than they are, and then other photos of this palette, it just, I'm gonna take it for what it is, it's just gray, light, white shades, and ashy. In my opinion, but I know for myself, if I was to buy this eyeshadow palette, it would just sit with the conspiracy one because I'm not, I'm not a fan of his color layouts. And quite honestly, his shadows don't hit it out of the park for me. You know, I buy Jeffree Star makeup to review on my channel, not necessarily to support him as a person. I know if I'm purchasing it, I'm still supporting him directly, but it's more so to review for you guys and kind of give you my thoughts on things. And I've only bought the Conspiracy palette just because it was a big deal in a collaboration with Shane Dawson. But I'm gonna be honest with you, I would not be buying this one even to review it for you guys. It's just in my opinion, a lot of the shades in this palette look like other shades. Like there's two of the same kind, three of the same kind. And also everyone has a problem with the name of the palette, which I can understand because it is a very sensitive time right now. You know, a lot of people are dying, but then there's other people are saying they've had loved ones that they lost and they've been cremated and they like the idea of this palette and it's kind of something that they can use to help cope with. I, I don't know, it's, for me, I don't know, I wouldn't name a palette cremated, but I guess, cause he always says deceased or dead, you know, it's a play on words, but I'm not buying it. It's a purge for me. It's a very pricey palette. And for 24 Shades of Grey, I could have either watched the movie or I could have gone to Home Depot and go went to the paint section and got a couple swatches there. So I'll leave it at that. The next one is the Kylie Skin Lip Scrub. How much was it? Oh my God, let me check. It's $20 and I love how they include and also included in the lip scrub is the spatula. I could just use my fingers. Maybe it's not the most sanitary thing. And you know, we probably should be thinking about sanitation during times like this with COVID-19, but it is so overpriced for a lip scrub that you can make at home or buy like a nice lip oil or something to help with your lips. I'm gonna purge, it's just, I feel like Kylie products in general is so overpriced for what you get. $20 for a lip scrub, I could get that at home for free in my cabinet, whatever I already have. So I'm purging, like I said, not gonna happen. The next product I saw on Trend Mood and I was like, what the hell is this? So it's this brand called Incred Incredible Juicy Pear. So I don't know if it's incredible, but it's ink Incredible. Like you know ink as in like, Monsters Inc. with a dot at the end. I don't know why. I could have used much more adult um, examples, but I didn't. Well, that's the name of the brand, I guess. And they have masks for your boobs and your butt. They have watermelon patches for your girls up there, and then peach patches for your girls down there. Like, I love sheet masks, but not for my lady parts. I don't... <laughs> it, it seems stupid to me, and I'd rather just put lotion or... I don't know, I feel like products like these are so gimmicky and they want to make you believe that it works or it's something that's actually useful, but like, no. I'm gonna, it's a hard pass. Definitely would purge this product. It's really weird. <sighs> I don't think there's anything I'm splurging on so far in this video. 
Okay, so next up is actually Huda Beauty. They released a new makeup product in their line, which is a mascara. So it is the new double mascara, Legit Lashes. So it's a cool concept. You have two different wands. I think it's the same formula in each end, but one is for lengthening and curl, and the other one is for volume. The voluminous side has the hourglass shape one, and then the curl and lengthening one has like that like hook shaped mascara wand, kind of like Roller Lash. So it looks like if, let's say, you know, Roller Lash and Too Faced Better Than Sex had a baby, and they had twins with two heads on opposite sides of the wand, so that's kind of what it reminds me of. I feel like I would purge again, I'm sorry. <sighs> This is, I guess it's a good thing that I'm purging all these because then I'll be saving money, but I feel like I have so many mascaras in my collection that this one doesn't really like stand out or scream to me. It's a really cool idea and a good idea, but I don't know, I feel like, like I really like my Pure Minerals mascara just because I like the quality and, and the ingredients in it and also the way it makes my lashes look and strengthen them. So I think I'm just, I'm gonna purge it. Next one up is the new bronzers from Charlotte Tilbury. I love the quality of her products. They're so overpriced. Like they're so expensive and luxury, but like sometimes you just got to give in, you know? And these are beautiful. They look so pretty. I'm in love with the packaging. Oh, this is definitely going to be one of those bougie makeup items that I use not every day, but like on special makeup occasions, I guess, right? You know, when I'm going out to the grocery store or on a walk to take out the garbage because that's the only plans we'll be all having in the next couple months. But anyways, but it looks really pretty and I really love their setting powder that comes in the pan, the airbrush setting powder. So I think this bronzer will be a really nice formula as well too. Hopefully it doesn't disappoint. Next up is another item from Charlotte Tilbury from the same collection as the bronzer we just discussed. Now I'm gonna purge this item. So this is an eyeshadow palette and for the price for four basic shadows that I definitely already have in my collection. I'm gonna purge. It's just a smart consumer choice not to get that palette. And yeah, no, like it's just one of those things like, like when you buy a palette, you're buying a palette. I feel like nowadays with some intentions behind it, I feel like this is just kind of like, I feel like it's gonna be like Karens and soccer moms with that are gonna buy this eyeshadow palette because you know they like their neutrals and just because it's fancy and whatever but then they'll make a fuss about it because of the price but they'll still get it so yeah I'm gonna purge on this one <laughs> the next one up is the Norvina eyeshadow palette the newest one to the collection and as well the electric liners which I am currently wearing though in terms of the eyeshadow palette I don't have any of the I don't already have any of the Norvina palettes. I feel like the other three I would want more so than this one. They don't really stand out to me because once again, they have the brighter colors and I feel like I already have so many palettes with bright shades. So I don't know, I think I'm gonna purge on it just because I gotta use what I already have. It doesn't stand out to me. I feel like I really like the purple one and the also the orange one of the Norvina palettes. So I would get those two before I would get this one. So we're purging on the Norvina palette, but we already splurged. On the liners. The next product to be purging or splurging is actually from the drugstore and it is the L'Oreal Skin Paradise Tinted Water Cream Perfecting Healthy Glow. This product is obviously like a face foundation skin tint and it has SPF 20. I always like to see what L'Oreal comes out with in terms of foundations. I really like a lot of their foundations so I'm gonna splurge on this item plus it's drugstore. I always like to try out new drugstore foundations especially for the summertime and I also liked very dewy light coverage foundations in the summer like most of us unless you're really oily so I'll be excited to splurge on that one. And the next beauty products up are the cream blushes and cream bronzers from Fenty Beauty. So these released I want to say last month? They haven't been on the market for too long, but they're not really recent. At first I was going to splurge on them, but then I just kind of realized I probably wouldn't use them. I feel like when I'm using cream products, like even some of my cream bronzers or liquid products in my, in my um, collection, I always forget about them. Or I'll put all my powder products on and then I remember to use my cream products and I can't because I've set the powders down or it just doesn't mix well. So I feel like if I was to buy this, I wouldn't use this. They look really pretty though, and they have some great color options too. Typical Fenty, they know their shades. 
So we got another beauty product, and this is Manny MUA's Makeup Line Lunar Beauty. So they just released their spring collection. So in the spring release, they have a blush palette and also glosses. Um, I would definitely pass on the glosses just because, because they're a very light wash of color. I feel like there's something already in my collection that I have that would be comparable to it. But definitely the blush palette, I can see myself buying. I would definitely spurge on it just because I love the tones in it. I like how there's like a burnt warm bronzer and they have the peaches and they have some pinks. Nothing like a hot pink because hot pink is cute, but like... It's not my favorite on my cheeks. So I like the tones in this blush palette. So definitely this product, I would splurge. I would splurge on the blush palette. And plus, who doesn't like blush? I feel like blush is making a comeback so far in this last, in these last couple months. So I've never stopped loving blush. I've loved blush since I started wearing makeup and I'll wear it to the day I die. Even though it doesn't really look like I'm wearing much, but it's all good. And then the final beauty product that I'm gonna be splurging or purging on is something that hasn't been released, but it's kind of a teaser for it. And it's Nikita Dragon's Beauty Line Dragon Beauty. And it's an eyeliner that's gonna be coming out in the future from what you can tell in the pictures. And I'm gonna purge it. And quite honestly, for me, I love my Stila Liquid Liner. It is my go-to. I like both the original and the micro tip one, and they're really great. I love the consistency and that shit does not come off. You can go to the beach, sweat, rub your eyes, put on goggles, have waves hit you in the face, be completely oily, scratch your eyes. It just does not budge. And that's what I love about that liner. So I don't know, for me, I can get the Stila liner at work. Where I work, we have Stila at my cosmetics counter and then also get a discount on it. So I don't feel like I would buy her liquid liner necessarily. And when you love something, you're gonna constantly repurchase it and just love it for what it is. And I just feel like I wouldn't fall in love with this new liner. So, so we're gonna be purging Nikita's new eyeliner whenever it comes out. So that was the last item in this splurge or purge makeup video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't hate on me too hard for purging some of these items or my own thoughts on some of these makeup brands and their items and their product releases. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion and I have mine as well too. I'm just being honest and you don't have to agree with it. You don't have to agree with it, but I'm I'm gonna state my honesty and state my thoughts. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, guys. And like always, remember, sub it if you love it. I will see you in the next one. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay six feet away from each other, stay hopeful. We're gonna get through this tough time right now in the whole world, but we're gonna make it out live. In 2021, I know, is gonna be a bomb ass year. Hopefully I didn't jinx it, but I feel it. I genuinely feel like we're gonna appreciate things, we're gonna move forward and just have a new perspective on life. So, thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you in the next one, bye. Like, I totally look like I could be from the 80s, but the perm. I just need one of those like sweatbands up here, like in like a poodle.